What is going on you guys? Pat Platypus here and it's time to review episode 4 of My Hero Academia. Two quick things before I get into the review. Number one, I announced this about a month ago. Wabam! Berserk Volume 1 review will be coming out probably Tuesday. So that's happening. Look forward to that I guess. Going to be reviewing the first volume. And then the second thing is, last time I checked as of this recording I have a hundred and 96 subscribers so if you're watching this video for the first time you just clicked a My Hero Academia review and you like what you see here please subscribe I just need four more to get to the big 200 and then I'll probably do like a Q&A or something like that uh, I know I did that last time but whatever anyways you know more people more questions anyways My Hero Academia episode 4 this was another good episode I do have one kind of big problem with it, um, and it could get explained later, but I'll, I'll get into that later. Basically, the different students have to take a practice exam fighting the giant robots, which we saw at the end of the third episode, and Deku's just having a terrible time. He's just having a shit time. Everywhere he goes, everyone's just destroying all the robots, getting massive amounts of points. He still has zero, and he's having a really hard time. And what ends up happening is this giant one comes out of nowhere, the ones that you're just supposed to avoid because they're worth bullshit. Um, they're just a total bullshit fucking obstacle. It shows up, does a big building smash, and this and the girl who helped him out when he first came to the entrance, when he was about to trip like a dumbass, she gets trapped under rubble, which is what I have a problem with, but I'll get into that in a second. And his hero instincts kick in, and the animation budget kicks in, and he jumps in the air, does a smash, blows this thing away. It was really badass, it was really well animated, it was really cool. I do think the manga panel, however, if I remember correctly, I think the manga panel did look a bit cooler. It was just more detailed, but whatever. Um, he knocks this thing down, the exam ends. Uh, yeah, he kind of fell, like, he broke his arm and broke his legs from doing it, and... He's falling, and he actually falls for an entire minute, which I thought was weird. Like, he's thinking about how he's going to, like, okay, if I punch at the right time, I can cushion the blow or whatever, but I only have one arm left, so if I fuck this up, it's over. But he ends up getting, she uses her levitation powers to help him again. It's funny, too, because she has to touch them first to levitate them, so she slaps them in the face. That was really funny. Um, but, yeah, and then, you know, he gets healed instantly, of course. Because his legs were broken and his arm was broken, so obviously you can't fucking just have that heal over time. Someone has to have a power to fix that quickly. And she does. This uh, little old lady comes in with a cool design. And what ends up happening is he thinks, well, I got zero points, so I'm fucked. But then they reveal, or at least All Might reveals, that essentially rescue points were a thing. But no one was told that, and I think that's a good idea. It's one of those cases where... It kind of pulls something out of its ass to, like, make the main character still succeed, but in a really good way. And, you know, it wasn't just like... Yeah, I liked that it was actually, like, in the point system. It wasn't just, well, you scored zero points, but you showed what it had... It, you showed what it takes to be a hero, so you pass. Like, I'm glad it wasn't, like, an unorthodox decision by the judges. I'm glad it was a part of the exam. And we have the speed dude, he was a badass too when he slammed into one of those fucking robots, that was really cool. And he figures that out, we, he doesn't of course reveal it to the audience, but he figures it out. And uh, yeah, so my problems with the episode, okay, him falling for one minute's really weird. Um, like, I know it's an anime, but like, falling for an entire minute from that high up seems impossible. It's a total nitpick though, but the reason why I bring that up is because that is a nitpick. The next thing I want to mention is bullshit. He rescues her, he destroys the robot because she's trapped under debris. She can levitate things. What? That makes no sense. Why couldn't she just levitate the debris on her leg? She levitated several robots at one time, and it looks like it makes her sick to do that. She, like, threw up fucking rainbows. That was weird. Uh, but yeah, like, she can levitate shit. I don't remember if the debris was, like, really, really big or not. So I don't know if maybe if it was too big, she couldn't, like, move it. But I feel like if you were going to do that, then you should have really shown, like, it was a massive chunk and have it crush her leg and then just have little fucking nurse heal it. Because, you know, just a small piece of debris or what looked like a normal-sized piece, you'd think she could just lift it and fucking, you know. And maybe she did. I mean, after Deku saved her, she'd see her floating on a little piece of robot, so I'm assuming she did get out. 
But I don't know, it just seems weird that that was like what made her the damsel in distress for a split second. That seemed kind of dumb, but maybe it'll get explained, I don't know. So, yeah, but I thought that was, because that was the whole reason he passed, and the whole reason any of that happened was because she got trapped, but if she has levitating powers, it kind of just falls apart, you know what I mean? But it's somewhat minor. She probably did escape, because she was floating on that little piece of robot debris, so it was probably just off-screen that she was able to get herself out. Though I do think it is kind of weird. I feel like she could have been in some other kind of peril, or something, something, I don't know. But overall, the episode... It was good, the animation was really good, the artwork was good, and, uh, yeah, and I like the rescue points, that was a really good idea, and, of course, and the way All Might delivers it, you know, he does, he pulls that bullshit where it's like, so you didn't pass. If those were the normal circles, like, he pulls that bullshit like, like a doctor walks out and, ma'am, you have terminal cancer. Is what I would say. You know, like, what the fuck is that shit? Like, just say it normal. Like, that, that, that kind of thing is just bullshit. But, regardless, it was a good episode. I'll probably give it a solid, maybe an 8 out of 10, maybe a 7.8 out of 10. It was definitely an above good episode. Uh, only other nitpick is Deku's personality is just so, like, just doesn't stand up for himself, no backbone, fucking... I know it's supposed to develop him, but it is a little annoying. Only a little bit, though. It's a minor gripe, very minor, so... Overall, I liked the episode. I think the series is getting better and better. I don't know if I like this one more than the last episode, because this series really does have comedy game on point, and there was not as much comedy in this one, but... Still, I enjoyed it, so... What do you guys think of this episode of My Hero Academia? You guys can tell me in the comment section below. Also, you can follow me on Instagram or add me on PSN. I'm Peplatibus on both. Giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it on social media. Both those would help me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you like what you've seen here. Like I said, just four more subscribers for the big 200. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.